data, AI models are there as first-class citizens now. 3.0 is the start of going from software to system bombs. So the S now is more likely to be a system because quite frankly, if you're trying for transparency, you got to know what's actually the ingredients are. And things like data are now ingredients. So how you have these models, these AI models, and then how you actually get them trained up, and then how we are recording that type of information um, so that you can understand that, if, oh, I've got a poison data set. How does this impact my vulnerability status? Because as people are working with their CICD pipelines, generating things out, you are going to want to know what showed up at what point in time, and you want to do it at scale. So we've got a lot of data coming in and you just throwing documents around between organizations is fine, but in your own organization, you're gonna to wanna to know in your own databases, what did I know at a point in time and how did we do this? And so getting to the stage where we can actually identify and mint you know, unique elements. And then when something changes, like a patch got added, you're minting another element, understanding the relationships, understanding how things evolve over time. And so we've got a format now that can do that. And that's what I'm really excited about with 3.0 is we're sort of getting in that direction. That and we're handling more of the use cases that are out there that are beyond software. Data, AI models are there as first-class citizens now. And then we're adding more of the system information now into the 3.1 version.